Hi everyone, and thank you all so much for joining me in today's drawing time lapse plus voiceover. If you would like to see a real time version of this video, along with other useful tutorials and daily rewards, check out patreon.com slash happy D artist. So <laughs> for those of you who have been following me for a while, you guys know that I recently concluded a 30 video long video series called 30 days of art. Um, just wanted to say again a quick thank you to everyone who has joined me on that journey. I would not have been able to finish it without your constant support and encouragement. Um, so yeah, I am actually trying to think of a new theme of video series to do and um, recently I started this series called Art and Chat which is basically longer, one hour long um, real-time videos where I'll be working on a painting or drawing in my studio and just chatting with you guys and answering some questions while I'm working on the piece and although I really love the format of that new series and I'm really excited to film and upload more videos um, regarding that series I'm actually still really <laughs> enjoying this current video format where it's a time-lapse and I talk about something during voiceovers they're very easy to record for me because I can just kind of be comfortable and be in my pajamas and I don't have to be put on the spot, like I don't have to say everything perfectly the first time. So um, it allows for these types of videos to be a little bit more polished and probably more thorough because I have time to prepare and outline every important thing that I need to say. So. I definitely am still looking for ways to encompass all of these types of videos into, you know, a series that you can rewatch and that have some sort of cohesive theme to it. Um, I think lately I've just been really into organizing things into collections and groups. Just helps me keep track of them easier and it makes me feel weird to have a video floating around without like a playlist that it belongs to or something. Um, yeah, I'm strange. So. I'm still looking for suggestions. Feel free to pop them in the comments below on how I could frame this type of series of, you know, like 10 minute long time lapses plus voiceovers. I'm just trying to think of a really open and um, malleable theme that could accommodate a variety of videos, mediums, things like that. Okay. Enough rambling. On to today's topic of discussion. Um, this one is just for fun and it's something lighthearted and something I think that a lot of artists can relate to um, but I just want to start off by saying I don't want any sort of like I don't want anyone to feel bad or um, think of it negatively this is just something that I recently pulled my own followers on and I'm just kind of sharing the very common general almost like the general public's take on this issue so please do not feel like I'm singling anyone out or trying to make anyone feel bad if you've done this thing that I'm talking about and of course if you've read the title you'll know that I'm gonna be sharing the biggest artist pet peeve <laughs> and um, the the method I used for gathering my research so to speak is a while ago over a month ago I put on Instagram this um, basically call for comments and I just ask people what are your biggest art pet peeves it could be anything from you know I don't know artist block or to not earning enough money or just anything artist related so anyone out there who's ever um, sold art or even just does art as a hobby any way shape or form all artists welcome to answer and I got so many comments I think I got almost a thousand responses which is crazy and um, I actually took a lot of time to scroll through all the comments and also used various tools online to search for keywords um, in th through my list of comments and the number one pet peeve that I found based on what everyone has told me all 1,000 people including myself agree the number one biggest artist pet peeve is when someone asks you to draw them for free <laughs> oh my gosh it's so funny saying this because um i feel like at one point um when this happened to me i didn't think that anyone else had this problem like i thought it was just some weird type of um social situation that i had encountered that was unique only to myself and then when I posted this Instagram post and saw people commenting um, 
yeah, like, can you draw me for free? Can you draw me for free? That's my biggest art pet peeve. Um, I just felt this sense of like camaraderie because all artists can agree with me here. Um, I if you're if you're listening to this right now and you've asked someone to draw you for free before, please keep in mind I'm in no way trying to make you feel embarrassed or you know trying to criticize you or judge you um, but if you have actually been one of those people that ask artists to draw you for free hopefully this video will give you a, another outlook another insight on maybe why it might offend an artist and hopefully this video can help you um, moving forward in the way you communicate with artists it's by no means meant to hurt anyone um, in fact I hope it's helpful if you've ever <laughs> been the source of this question um, but basically the general consensus is the reason why this is the biggest art pet peeve is because artists, you're basically asking artists to, um, A, you're telling them what to paint or draw and dictate, you know, the subject of their piece, which is a huge thing. I think artists um, really value keeping their creative decisions completely personable or sorry completely personal and 100% unique and originating 100% from their own mind, from their own soul. Like, I think that's what makes a piece of art special. So when you tell an artist to draw something else, it's already kind of um, unneeded and unwarranted. And then secondly, you're asking them to draw you, which could come off quite... Um, narcissistic in a way because you're not just sh suggesting like it'd be one thing if you for example if you saw an artist and they love drawing animals and you said hey i see that you love drawing animals um have you heard of this species um of fish they look really cool and you know you might find it an interesting challenge to draw because i noticed you like drawing colorful fish and this species is super unique and you might not have heard of it that's like a, actually a really good suggestion but when you take an artist who draws something completely unrelated so let's say they love drawing animals and fish or they love drawing i don't know fairies or mermaids and you go up to them and you say can you draw me it's just it's like it kind of shows that you don't really care about the artist or their mission, but rather you just want a piece of art dedicated to yourself because, you know, that's important to you. But it might not be important to them. And then the third and final reason why I think it gets on everyone's nerves, the main reason why it's so offensive is because when you ask someone to draw you, especially for free, you're not paying them for their hard work. So you almost feel entitled to their time, entitled to their efforts. And, you know, especially artists, it's it's not a super lucrative business and we're all working extra hours to make whatever money we can. And when, you know, we have precious time and we wanna invest that time into supporting ourselves and staying solvent and not, you know, ending up on the street homeless, and you ask an artist to do that much work for you for free without paying and on top of that you've kind of told them what to do like you've told them what they should paint and then your suggestion for what they should paint or draw is completely incentivized by self-interest and on top of that you don't want to pay them like it's just it really all the, that entire combination um really gets on artists nerves and i'm really glad i'm not the only one who feels that way that being said um, a lot of times artists will offer you a chance to be drawn for free. I've noticed some people do like um, subscriber or follower drawing um, videos or they'll have a hashtag that you can use and occasionally when artists are looking for things to practice or if they just want to engage with their audience or you know just to have fun sometimes they will borrow from your photos and but in those cases the artist prompts their audience for the art it's it's the artist's idea not the audience's idea so um i'm what i'm saying is if you've asked someone to draw you and they haven't specifically put out a request for it like if they haven't specifically said use this hashtag and i might draw you or i want to draw my followers send me your photos and i'll pick a random one to draw like if the artist hasn't phrased it that way um they probably are not looking for suggestions of people to draw and they're probably definitely not interested in doing it for free um i just feel like it's important to get this message out there because i know a lot of people and probably myself at one point when i was younger um, might have asked this question or might have um, thought this question 
and you know I know that not everyone means harm by it not everyone's out to offend or demean an artist's worth but um, some people you know just don't know any better so hopefully this video will help spread the message and enlighten everyone out there and um, also hopefully um, other artists who are watching this if you've ever encountered this issue just know that you're not alone um, it's a very common question that um, gets asked to artists all the time and that gets on artists nerves all the time so yeah that is about it for today's topic of discussion and video hope you guys enjoyed it and if you would like prints of this piece along with a few others check out happyd-artist.com and i'll catch you next time bye